Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It's good to be back. We got a good one for you today. Uh, we're going to get into my boy Floyd Cashflow Diaz against uh, Francesco Pedraza on the undercard of Espinosa and Sergio uh, Torino Sanchez in what should be an entertaining scrap. Uh, but this is something good that we can add to a parlay, and I, and I want to get into this. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow three boxing, three boxing blog, or all from social media. Uh, the boxing book it comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, join the Patreon, get the lock of the week, get all the updated prop bets. I uh, get asked the bookie anything, ask me to handicap a fight, uh, ask me to make a request a video. I can do that for you as well. Um, join the Patreon, link is in the description, just five dollars a month. Uh, that gets you all the best gambling advice out there. Also, subscribe to the other town, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into Floyd Diaz uh, and Francisco Pedraza. Floyd Diaz, really good technician in the ring. Uh, fundamentally sound. He stays patient behind a high guard. Good footwork. Solid speed. You know, really, really, uh, pretty good speed, a uh, high IQ guy. You can tell he's been around the sport since he was a kid. Uh, he's got a lot of good instincts. He does a lot of smart things. You don't see a lot of sloppy mistakes with him. What I would say, what, what he stays a little too patient sometimes. He'll show up. He, he doesn't throw much. Too much one at a time. You've seen him improve on this, especially in his last fight. His in his, in his last fight, he was throwing more combination. He was more lateral movement. All of the things that did not look great against Max Ronalis when he squeaked out a close decision seemed to improve in the Edwin Rodriguez fight. Now, look, Ornalis is a lot better than Edwin Rodriguez, but also uh, Francisco Pedraza Portillo is, is not as good as Ornalis, right? So Portillo is. Pedraza Patillo is closer to Edwin Rodriguez than he is Max Ronaldo. Max Ronaldo is a very good fighter. Uh, Floyd Diaz is not a hitter, but he's accurate, especially from you know from the long range. Really, really accurate. He, he he's been mixing up his shots better. Like I said, in his last fight, he seemed to improve quite a bit. I really liked what I saw. In his last fight against Edwin Rodriguez, which I did not like a lot of the things I saw in or or now. Uh, you know, it, it, like he picks off shots well, but he doesn't catch and shoot. He just catches, right? You saw him leaning more more with the left hook. Good, he's got good timing on his catches. He's got good boxing instincts, good boxing IQ. He looked he looked really improved in his last fight, and, and so I'm hoping he builds off of that. You know, he's he's maturing. How old is he? He's still pretty young. This kid. How how old is Cash Flow Diaz? Twenty one still. So he's got a lot of maturing to do. He still has has a ways to go, but you can see there's a lot to like about him. His combinations are a little bit predictable, but it's it's jab jab left hook jab jab right. It, he's predictable. He's got to mix that up. I I don't think these things are going to really haunt him. Uh, you know, and you're seeing improvement. And that's what you want to see in in a fighter that's 21 years old. So he's making improvements. I still think he's a long way out, but he's making improvement. Francisco Pedraza is an opponent-level guy. I'm not trying to destroy him. I'm not trying to tell you he's a crappy fighter. He's not a crappy fighter. He's not a bad fighter at all. I would say he's a pretty good fighter, but he's not really fighting to win. He's fighting to survive. We've seen this over and over again. Pedraza is a guy who's been in with a ton of high-level opposition. And he can go the distance, and he can go the distance because he's not—he's been stopped twice in, in 31 fights. Uh, it's been a while since he's been stopped. Who's he stopped? He has not been stopped since 2012 and 2013. 2013 was less, so it's been over a decade since he's been stopped. And it, just to know who he's for, he's for Antonio Vargas, Rashi Warren, Jason Maloney. So he's been in with names. Gary uh, Antonio Russell, the little guy's one, you know, the 118-pounder Gary Russell. Victor Efron Sandoval, he's been in with names. Now, he's lost all these fights. 
Some have been competitive. Some haven't. He's a back foot guy. He, like I said, he can come forward and he's a decent athlete, but that's not what he's looking to do. He's not really looking to win fights. He's looking to survive. Basic one, two, off the back foot. He moves pretty good lateral movement, pretty decent athlete. He can be walked backwards. Like he's not really looking to win the fight. He's looking to go the distance. He works behind the jab. He's got a pretty good jab. He's not a high volume guy. He's not a risk taker. What he is is a decent athlete with a decent jab who can survive basic one, two. He can he can stay in fights. He can be competitive without really winning them. I can't really see. His last fight ended with Antonio Vargas ended in a, in a brutal headbutt in the third round. He's somewhat sloppy defensively. He comes in a lot with his face. He drops his hands a little bit. He's got some a little bit bad habits, but like I said, he's a pretty good athlete, and he knows what he's doing to survive. Obviously, I like cash flow. Diaz in this fight. Let's take a look at the odds. Let's see if there's any money to be made in this fight. Again, I think this is a great fight to add to your parlay. I think this is safe as can be. Look, Floyd Diaz is a minus 900. Oh, we got props. They just dropped the props in this. I like Floyd Diaz. And I like him by decision. I would do this. Floyd Diaz by decision pays thirty uh, pays minus two seventy five. It's a hundred dollar bet makes you thirty six thirty six. I like that a lot. I like that. If you want to, there's no over under on this. How how is there no over under on this? It goes a distance, but there's no over under. I'm not digging that. Join the Patreon. Let's take a look at this. Here's what I like. They just dropped these props. Uh, if you want to make a standalone bet, I like Floyd Diaz by decision. It minus it's minus 275. It's gonna pay you a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollar bet, your normal bet, whatever that is. In this case, a hundred dollars is gonna pay you 36.36. Pretty good bet. Floyd Diaz, I, I don't see this fight ending any other way. Why do we not have an over-under if you really want to? Money line, I think, is a good bet for your parlay. It can really bring your odds down, minus 900. It's a bet that I like a lot. I would probably take that. Fight to go the distance, not a bad bet, minus 400. It's something you can mix in there as well. Floyd Diaz on a money line. Floyd Diaz for the fight to go the distance. But the best bet, Floyd Diaz on the money line. Great bet to add to your ball, Paul A. Uh, Floyd Diaz fight to go fight to go the distance. I like that minus 400. But, but what I like a lot here is Floyd Diaz by decision or technical decision. One minus 275. So I don't know, I'll bet would make you 36-36. That's my that's the bet I would make here. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Join the Patreon files a month. Get you all the locks, get you all the perks, get you everything you would want. Uh, join the Patreon, five dollars a month, bring down the house, get the lock of the week, get the updated props, get ask the book anything, request a fight, anything that you want. Let me know what you think. It is June 20th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.